Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with Yaroslav. Yaroslav. Hey, Yaroslav. Hey. And uh, I wanted to quickly chat today about adding to uh, customizing search refiners mm -hmm. in SharePoint. Mm -hmm. So, so currently, if I search on SharePoint, I know on our own internal site, mm -hmm. uh, it'll give me refiners on the left, where I can say, okay, show me all document search results mm -hmm. by author. So, let's say by me and where there were documents. Mm -hmm. But a good example in our company, I know internally here as an IT mm -hmm. shop, uh, we got departments, most mm -hmm. companies have departments. We got HR, marketing, accounting, sales, delivery, yep. uh, client work. Let's say I wanted to search for all client work documents by Ron. Mm -hmm. Could we add that as a search refiner here? Yeah, absolutely. So okay. one of one of the capabilities of uh, so search refiners and the refinement refinement panel is a new capability of uh, SharePoint 2010. Okay. It wasn't built in in the past versions. So in 2007, so you couldn't. There was kind of like you know third party open source, but it wasn't too stable. So this is out of the box. This is oh like, wow. This okay. is out of the box solution. Cool. So one of the things that what you can do, you can actually uh, as as the SharePoint crawls different documents and their metadata. It right. picks up what's called the crawled properties, okay. and you can map those crawled properties uh, to the managed properties, okay. right? So you can map one or more to one or more managed properties. Right. And then what you could do, you can take the managed property and uh, use it in your refinement panel. So for instance, in here, we're going to have something like department. Department. If we want to refine by department, right. or well, for instance, if we have uh, well, we have clients. vertical vertical industries exactly. in our so we've got like retail, logistics, yeah. utilities, healthcare. Exactly. So for instance, you can have something like vertical, with, which is your you know managed property number two, and uh, what you can have is that when you for instance search for uh, you, for instance you search for statement of work. Right? right, and it, it automatically finds all of the statements of work, but it also groups them by vertical. So it automatically okay. tells them, okay, uh, as, uh, you know, statement of work for utility yeah. or for um, financial. Right. You know? So things like that. So you can search for statement of work still, okay. and then refine by vertical. Give me all statement of works uh, done by Ron that are Word documents. For the utilities industry. Absolutely. Oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah, and oh, it's okay. really, really easy to, to okay. customize it. Really, just to. And this is new in 2010. It's new in 2010. Wasn't in 2007. It was in 2007. And again, it's mapping of the custom property to the. So this was available in 2007. This part, yeah, wasn't was developed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very robust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you've actually done more detailed uh, documentation on this in your own blog. Yes. Yeah, so I have uh, I have an instructions on my blog how to do all that. It's not that complicated. Oh, okay. Uh, anybody can do it pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So hey, where can people find you on the web? So on the web, I'm um, at sharemuch.com and also I work at knowledgetech. Okay. And it's rondajuicy.com and I'm also at knowledgetech. Thanks.